Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about integrating Keycloak with FreeMarker templates. The viewer is exploring two potential approaches, using URL parameters or cookies to access information within the FreeMarker template. They've already attempted to access URL parameters, but ran into some roadblocks, as Keycloak's data model doesn't provide direct access to the current URL. So, is it possible to achieve their goal? Let's dive in and explore the options together. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To access information within a Keycloak FreeMarker template, you have two main approaches, using URL parameters or cookies. Let's explore these options. First, let's discuss using URL parameters. You mentioned trying to access them using methods found in online resources. However, Keycloak's data model does not provide direct access to the current URL, which complicates this approach. Now let's consider the second approach, using cookies. You can set a cookie with the desired information and then access that cookie within your FreeMarker template. This method is often more reliable. To implement this, you can use JavaScript to set a cookie when the user accesses your application. Then, in your FreeMarker template, you can retrieve the cookie value using the appropriate syntax. In summary, while accessing URL parameters directly in Keycloak is challenging, using cookies provides a viable alternative. Make sure to implement cookie handling correctly in your FreeMarker template. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In a similar situation with Keycloak, the user needed to access query parameters in a custom login theme. They discovered that certain parameters like scope, response type, and redirect URI can be accessed within the FreeMarker login forms provider. To access these parameters, you can use the URI Info class to get the query parameters. For example, to read the redirect URI, you can use a simple line of code. To pass data to your FreeMarker template, you need to put the data into attributes before processing the template. This allows you to access the data within your template. In your template, you can check if the data exists using an if statement. However, the user faced challenges accessing custom query parameters from the Keycloak auth endpoint. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To retrieve query parameters in a FreeMarker template, this user found it easier to use JavaScript. They shared a simple code snippet to demonstrate how to get a specific parameter from the URL. They hope this solution will help others facing similar challenges.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To access Keycloak cookies and URL query parameters in a free marker template, you can use a simple code snippet. This will help you retrieve all the keys from the URL object. For example, if you're looking for the ttote URL key, you can check if it contains from equals login. This approach should work for Keycloak version 11 and likely for other versions as well. Hope this helps. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Yeah.